A couple of rules. We're going to work our way from the, uh, the floor up here, and this is all very important. You want to have a good chair, or just a regular chair. A folding chair is fine. You want to be in the upright position. You don't want to be slouched. You don't want to be on the couch, you know, hunched over, and you don't want to be, you know, on a bed or anything like that. You want to be in a regular chair. You want your posture to be good. Okay, so that's rule number one, regular chair. I'm about to break rule number two now. The natural tendency is when you pick up a guitar, you want to rest it on your right leg. And this is wrong. The reason it's wrong is you see that the angle of this neck here, it's parallel with the ground. Okay, and really what we want is we want this neck to be tilted up in this direction here, up in the air, you know, up higher. And the reason is, is because it's much easier to be able to arch your fingers and not touch other strings. It's easier to press down. And it's much easier to play the guitar when the neck is tilted in this direction. Instead of putting the guitar on your right leg, <clears throat> what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get it right here in between your legs, resting on your left leg. And as you could see here, this naturally tilts the guitar in this direction rather than being flat and parallel. This will make it so that chords will be much easier when you're resting it right here like this instead of the other way. Okay, so that's rule number two. Uh, here's a third rule. I have a microphone case here, but anything that's like five or six inches off the ground. Go ahead and take your left leg and rest it, rest your, your foot right on the, you know, a footstool here. And you could see right here that that got the guitar, the neck, up even higher than, than over here like this, okay? This is fine, but this is even better. And especially if you're having problems with chords, you get that footstool, that's really going to help. That's going to give you a 20-30% advantage right there with getting better chords, just with that footstool. So those three rules again, good chair, good posture is rule number one guitar resting on your left leg in between your legs with the neck tilted that's two and then if you can and this is the best one I think is just putting that foot on a footstool and getting that neck to go up even higher tilted this way rather than this way with that said let's move on to the left hand and get some rules with the left hand All right before I go any further I once you have your leg up on a footstool your left leg and your your, your foot is on the footstool, you want to make sure that your guitar is not tilted this way, in this direction. You want the guitar straight up as well. What I mean by straight up is just resting on your chest slightly. And the tendency for beginner guitar players is to want to see the chords on their left hand and they end up tilting the body this way to be able to see what they're doing with their left hand. I don't know if you could see that, but you don't want it in this position. You want it, the guitar to have good posture as well, straight up, okay? All right, so we're going to work on the left hand now. R rule number four is you want to have your thumb in the correct position. I see a lot of people having their thumb up here, sideways, this way. The correct position for the thumb is right here, if you see that. The reason why you want your thumb down here is because this makes it possible for your fingers to arch very easily. Okay, I can, you could see that my, my fingers can just, you know, go way past this, this guitar neck. A lot of people with uh, short hands and small hands complain that they can't reach. Well, if you have your thumb in the right position, okay, you're going to be able to... Uh, get to where you need to go on the guitar. You could see my with my thumb here, my hand could spread out very easily where if I have my thumb up here, I can't I can't possibly spread out my hand and it flattens my fingers. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you get your thumb in the right position. And my thumb is pretty much parallel with the fret. And you see the fret right here or the fret right here. It's not sideways this way or this way. It's pretty much parallel with, you know, as parallel as I can make it. That's rule number four. Rule number five, the reason why we have our thumb there is because we want to get our fingers arched. Very important. So I'm going to give you an example here. We're going to go 
three frets up, and I think you guys already know, but this is first string, second string, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth string. These are the frets, fret number one, two, three, and this is the nut, okay, that's holding the strings. And we want to go one, two, three frets up with our ring finger, our third finger, okay, and we want to play the G note. That's three frets up on the sixth string. And in order to do that properly, we want to get our thumb in the right place and we want to be able to arch our fingers. This is arching, this is flat. And the reason why we want them arched is because we don't want to be touching other strings with our finger. So if I play this right here unarched, okay, if I'm, even if my thumb's in the right place and I didn't arch my, my fingers, you could see how flat they are, guess what's going to happen? I'm touching another string. So very simply, arching is just going like this. Get the thumb in the right place and go ahead and arch your fingers. This is unarched and this is arched. Now even if you have a small hand, um, I'm going to tell you that that's no excuse because you could see that I could reach my hand, you know, way past, you know, and I don't really have big hands. My hands, people say, well that's easy for you because you have big hands. No, my hands are not that big really. I have kind of fat fingers, maybe the camera is deceiving, but fat fingers they're short, they're short and stubby. <clears throat> Let's put it this way, my mom's hands are, are longer than mine, okay? So, now I have a friend that is a jazz guitar player and his hands are, his fingers are much shorter than mine and he's got chubbier hands. He's just able to wail on the guitar like you wouldn't believe and it's just because he has good technique. So the technique wins. All right, so this is arched and this is unarched. Okay, so we wanna arch our fingers. And you can see my thumb for this G chord is parallel to the second fret. I don't have it, my thumb up here on the third fret, okay? It's, it's my thumb is back here comfortably on the second fret. Fingers arched. All right, a little break in the action. If you were going to learn three chords and only three chords for the rest of your life, I want to know which ones would they be. Three chords. I want to hear from you. Comment in the description area below. Back to the lesson. Rule number six is you want to play on the tips of your fingers. And I'm going to show you. I was just playing with this finger and you could see the groove mark that the string uh, put on my finger. I'm not playing down here. I'm playing on the tip of my fingers just, just by the fingernail kind of. And you could see that I have pretty good calluses. All right. You can see them on all my, all my uh, fingers here. But uh, there's my calluses, and that's where I'm playing, on the tip of my finger. Okay, so thumb in the right position, finger arched. And then if I go play a note, and then play the next note, I have plenty of clearance. You can, this is hard to, hard to see here. Let me just try to get an angle here. Plenty of clearance on the guitar. I'm nowhere near the fretboard with, with my other, the other part of my hand or my other fingers. That I, that I have it arched so well that there's just no way it's going to hit anything else, okay? So if you're having problems hitting other strings, you want to definitely arch your fingers, okay? Rule number seven is press just as hard as needed, no more, no less. You want to take this note and without really pressing, just touch the note. Okay, on your left hand, just touch the string. And now what you want to do, of course, arch your finger, thumb in the right place. Start pressing. There we go. I just made a clear note. Do not press any harder than that. Press only as hard as it, as it takes to be able to play the note. No more, no less. Now I see a lot of my beginner students, they are just pressing them down as hard as possible and they've got so much tension in this left hand and you don't want that. You see that um, accomplished guitar players, everything's very easy. That's because they're not pressing that hard. They're only pressing just hard enough to make the note sound No more, no less. 
that's it. That's as far as I'm going to go with this note. I'm not going to press any harder, okay? And everything else is just really relaxed. So that's rule number seven. Rule number eight is you want to play as close to the fret as possible. You don't want to be back here. This is the fret that we're trying to get the sound out of. You don't want to be on top of it because you'll get no note at all. You just get a thud just below the fret. As close as possible, just below the fret. The further away you get, the harder you have to press because you've got to press down that string to touch that fret. But it's going to buzz, so you want to get just below the fret. 